This is how I transformed Iron Mouse from this into this. Bishelgen is a VTuber organization that has swayed every VTuber's fan's heart, both in an emotional way and sometimes in a sexual way. Me sucky sucky now, mommy. And therefore I decided to make it my mission to bring every single one of the Bishelgen members closer to you and me. Closer to reality by making them 3D. Now, what do I mean by 3D? Well, I wanted to create a more realistic version of every single Bishelgen member by adding more realistic textures and lighting to the model or what the meme gamers call it. Dude, turn on that RTX, hell yeah! And since today will be your first try at creating this effect, we should probably start small. With the most unknown member of his shoujo, Iron Mouse. No pressure, right? Let's start with the hair, one of the most important areas. And you know how it is. Hair should be easy, right? It's just a blob of textures that you can manipulate and dump on your model. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really think that it would be this easy? Oh, you poor lost soul. You are so wrong! Hair is one of the most difficult textures to apply, since it can have different directions, different colors, different flows, different thickness, different density. How wavy is your hair? 1, 2A, 2B, or even 4C! Ah! So yeah, while I was ranting, I got my hair done and Iron Mouse did as well. So that was kind of epic. Next, we gotta do the horns. This was pretty simple. Make him emo first by applying the black and white filter and then color back in some life with a purple brush. I call this filter the life cycle of a teenager filter. Next up, hair accessories. First one, the heart. That's easy. I just go to this magical, mystical god of stock assets called Envato and kindly ask him to quote, lend me a human heart so I can make a hair accessory for Satan himself. He was hesitant at first. Oh no. Clearly. But then he noticed I had a super sexy Envato element here, a subscription with around one five star pull in Genshin. <laughs> yeah! So he didn't ask question and gave me this cool bell as well. Let's put it on. All this work's done and we only have one third of the hair. Fuck. It's time to make my skills from the Ubisoft internship useful and show you my trump card, reusing assets. Ah yes, the most pristine form of theft, self-plagiarism. And before we move on, let me tell you this. If you ever want to make something like this yourself, don't delude yourself and think the main part of your time is spent in Photoshop. No, 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 no. 90% of my time was just spent researching fitting images for the edits, to the point where Amazon only advertises woman hair products to me now, since I grew the world of woman hair so much. But while it may not be optimal, this is the closest I have come to make appropriate hair. Now let's do the body, and boy, I gotta tell you, if the hair was a Dark Souls boss, then the body is a full-on colossal Harambe Titan. God damn. But let's start simple, creating the body. I found this very epic booba on the corner of the streets, so let's implement it. Some booba distortion later and we got this. Oh my god! Oh shit, I forgot to turn on the mask. My bad. Oh god, oh god, what have I done? Now the simple part is done, but here comes a new challenger. More assets. But fellow weeps, I believe in us. We can do this together, my dear waifu warriors. For a nation of prosperity and animated. Activate the asset cannon. Boom! Rap boom! And boom! A skull! Boom! Dog color, I, I mean, I guess. What did you say? That looks shit? No problem. Boom, new ribbon. Time for this part. And as a human of the male gender, I'ma be honest. I don't have a single clue what this shit is called. And sadly, I know of only one search term that allows me to find this sort of clothing. And it's not something that I ever want to Google. Hey Siri. Mm -hmm. Remind me to delete. No absolute decimate and eradicate my search history after this video. Okay, add it to your promemoria list. <laughs> Thank you. And weirdly enough, this fitting great. The hands are really easy to decorate though. Just use a picture of hand sleeves or alternatively just literally paint them black and add some shadows and highlights on. And then put on a dog color. By the way, can we talk about how Iron Mouse literally wears three dog colors? Now we have done everything that I would consider hard. 
Let's do the face next to finish off the texturing and for that we only have to sacrifice a human lady by removing her sense of sight, her sense of taste and her sense of smell. Okay, 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 okay. That seems rather brutal, but let's be honest, what did you expect? We are literally recreating Satan. Satanic creatures and tributing human lives is part of the culture. So don't be close-minded and learn to be progressive, goddammit! Put that face on your lovely RTX model and then just take the face from the original VTuber model and overlay it. Put in some more detail, adding super realistic anime eyes. Wow. And then we're pretty much done with the face. Okay, okay. Now you may think, Rowdy, why would you use the face of a VTuber model instead of recreating the face like you did with the rest of the body? <laughs> well, foolish new dear viewer. Let me enlighten you. This is because I value the finesse, the artistic integrity of the original model and to incorporate parts of it is to show my deep artistic appreciation to the original design. No, I, I'm, I'm just fucking with you, let's be honest. It's because doing it otherwise looks fucking ugly. I mean, look at what they did to Naruto by applying realistic proportions. Now, this may look really weird, but it's actually pretty well done and accurate. But the problem is that this creates this uncanny valley effect where the image looks kind of like a human, but not really. And it makes us all feel kind of uncomfortable. And I mean, if even the big movie productions struggle to reproduce live action anime whilst not falling into the end kind of value effect, it is nearly impossible for us to do. So the best solution you may ask? Easy, just literally take the original face and make everything else realistic. This works rather well by playing a bit with the lighting settings. It can synergize quite well with the more realistic parts of the model. Now we're almost done. All that is left is to fine tune the model. And with the delicacy of a painter like Leonardo da Vinci, I did that as well. Now, let's add a cool background and then apply filters. For the background, I asked this holy being once again to send me a neon light preset. Since, let's be honest, I couldn't be bothered to do it on my own. So I made a pink heart with the caption Precious Family. And I added in a spelling mistake for aesthetics, at least that... That's what Iron Mouse would say. Then I blurred the background a bit to make Iron Mouse appear more in focus. And there you have it, the before and after. Now before I let you go, I have one more secret. The beautiful part about this model is that you can change every part of the model and even remove it. I even added in some easter eggs for the parts that you can't quite see. And in fact, I could remove the ribbon or I could remove the color or even something else.